today is the ninth time that Joan's Closet has happened here at Manhattan School of Music. It was started by Joan Taubades, who she and her husband have been incredible, generous donors to this institution, giving of their time, their talent, and their treasure. And so this is an incredible thing that Joan does every year. She buys dresses, but she also gets dresses donated to the institution. And these young ladies get to have these dresses and take them with them and own them and use them for performances and other important events that they have. What do I like best about Joan's Closet? Well, I like the fact that I'm helping young girls. I like the joy. I like the excitement that the young women generate. I like the, the fact that I know that these things are going to help them. I can't give them talent, but I sure can help them dress. And that's, that's the excitement for me, doing something good for these kids that will help them in their future. It's amazing. It is so generous of Joan Aids to run this event. Singers like us were expected to look like these polished divas on stage, but we don't necessarily have the budget to buy such dresses. And she makes that possible for us to make us look like the complete performance package, which uh, people expect of an opera singer particularly. I think it's so wonderful that we have such an amazing person here who can give such great resources to like all of performers because I mean gowns and things like that are really expensive and hard to come by especially such beautiful ones like there are here and so this kind of event is really helpful for all of us here. I'm always there when the closet opens for the full day and a lot of them come up to me and I I'm always say I'm here I'm available ask questions. We have lovely little Moroccan dress and little tents which are done by my wonderful friend Melanie Dorsey. She and her group put them together so we now run a wonderful shop. Joan's Closet is its name. <laughs> The dress, the size is very good for me, and the style, I think, is so cute, and the color, I love it. Oh, it just feels perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard like to find my, my size because I'm very small, and it's a beautiful dress, and just, it's my size. <laughs> I think it's so great, you know, it, these dresses are beautiful and it's hard, you know, the city's expensive, being a musician's hard and expensive. Um, so it's so great that Joan comes every year and brings these in. Well, I got this green dress and I feel so great. Like I'm a plus size, so I was kind of worried that they wouldn't have any selections for me, but Joan's Closet actually has a lot of selections for people that are a little bigger. And so there's no fear when coming to shop. I buy judiciously and I have different styles in mind for different body types that I know that are at the school. There has to be something for everybody. That's the, the, the difficulty, and they seem to be. Everyone goes away with one dress. Everything that I buy is within taste, good taste. I think it's funny, whenever you put on a dress, you sort of feel heightened and sort of more fancy and it kind of encourages you and it always makes me feel more excited and better about my singing. So I got this really gorgeous BCBG gown and actually it's like pretty much in perfect condition. It's just like amazing that this I can come in here and get something like this, which I would never be able to get. never thought I would get coming here. I didn't expect to find it. It was like right there at the front. <laughs> Joan Taub Aids is a force of nature. She and her husband have done so much for this institution. This room, indeed, is here because of their incredible generosity. There's a new scholarship that she just formed in the musical theater program, which will be another legacy, yet another legacy of hers and her husband's. For MSM, there are a few people in an institution's history that actually make a difference and transform the institution. And Joan and her now deceased husband, they have been those transformative folks for this place. And because of that, every time I see her in this, in the hallowed halls of this institution, I'm heartened. Also really wonderful is that you see the students, all these young ladies so excited about this day. It's nothing but heartwarming and, and joyful. This is the first time I come to something like this and I found it such a wonderful opportunity because it's, we perform so much 
and we don't always have the money to, to buy like amazing dresses. So to have this opportunity is just amazing. I was looking at the small size and I found this one and I've always dreamed of having a dress like this, but I can never afford one like that. And I have a concert, a solo concert with orchestra here in November and I had no dress to wear, so I was hoping to find something and I did. I actually wore the gorgeous gown I had for the Classic Lyric Arts Gala at the Kosciuszko Foundation last November and it was perfect because it was this gorgeous black lace gown that wasn't too much. The detailing on the gown was beautiful. Having a gown that fits you well, that you feel comfortable in, that also you know you feel secure in to perform in is something that's totally invaluable as a singer. Just wearing it and singing in it was a really fun experience. They're all over the world now. Singing, auditioning, and looking good doing it, and proud of themselves and proud of MSM, Manhattan School of Music, for doing this. I just wanted to say thank you so much, Joan, for your contribution to us at MSM and the beautiful gowns that you've allowed all of us to wear. It is such a fantastic Thing that you are doing for us and we are we could not be more grateful thank you so much for the dress um, I was so happy to wear the dress at uh, my first concert in New York with an orchestra as a soloist it was like a dream and the dress suited me perfectly it was it is one of my favorite dresses this is a great idea it came as a spark this is something they need, they like, they have fun with it, and it's, it's a treat. It's a treat for me. Anyone would be smiling. There's nothing not to smile about. It's hard for me really to, to see the forest for the trees, but I guess I started something good here. Thank you. 